All right, peace. In school, we're commonly taught about three states of matter, solid, liquid, gas. We're rarely taught about the other four states of matter. In this video, we discuss the seven states of matter. The focus of most primary and secondary schools are on the first three because these are the ones that we sense with our five senses. We will list the seven states of matter and explain each one. Before we get started, it's only proper that I thank the Most High and greet the children of Israel in a proper way. Peace and greetings, brothers and sisters. All thanks and praises due to the Creator, the God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I bear witness the 24 elders are the custodians of divine unity, that Koshi Yabahuehu is the king of this world and the divine knower of its beginning and end. Master Farad Muhammad is the custodian of universal energy and the forces of nature in our midst. The good news was delivered through the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. The honorable minister Louis Farrakhan is our divine example to follow of how to hold the commandments and do the works and travel from man and woman to God. I am thankful to speak to no other than the children of Israel, the 144,000 custodians of divine life who are responsible for rebuilding the character and the self-improvement of the lost found nation, making us fit to accept our own and be ourselves once again. Peace, shalom, assalamu alaikum. The first state of matter is a solid. Solids are formed when particles are packed closely together. The forces between these particles create a strong enough bond where the object seems not to move, but vibrates. A solid is defined by a definite shape and a definite volume. In truth, there is no real solid matter. All is a vibration that appears as a part of our conscious matches the speed of the object that we see. The second state of matter is a liquid. A liquid is defined by a definite volume when the temperature and pressure are constant. A liquid conforms to the shape of its container. The third state of matter is gas. Gas molecules are characterized by the ability to move quickly and freely due to negligible intermolecular forces and greater distance between molecules. The fourth state of matter, the central substance, space, also known as luminiferous ether. Space, ether, or luminiferous ether, is a medium filling all space and is the central supporting substance of all six other states of matter. While modern scientists consider this substance hypothetical, its existence is proven by looking up in the night sky. This substance is pure, absolute blackness, or triple darkness, and contains all other substances. The original God gets his or her skin color directly from this substance. This substance is also the source of what people call melanin. This substance gives everyday objects in the known universe its individual color. The fifth state of matter is light. Light is defined as a transverse wave or electromagnetic wave that vibrates at a right angle in the direction of its propagation. The speed of light in luminiferous ether, a vacuum or space, has a constant speed. The speed of light in a medium is slower than the speed of light in a vacuum or space. The sixth state of matter is electricity. Electricity is defined as a state of matter defined by the flow of charged particles, i.e. electrons. The seventh state of matter is magnetism. Magnetism here is commonly referred to as universal gravitation in modern terms. This is the attractive force between two objects with mass. On a universal scale, magnetism is the attractive force that brings together all solar systems that are alike, causing them to find each other. On a planetary scale, we observe that heavy metals like iron and gold sink into the earth while hydrogen and oxygen gas float to the top, forming water in our atmosphere. The more electrons or planets associated with the interaction, the stronger the bonds that form between atoms or solar systems. The first law of magnetic attraction is that like will attract like. The first law of magnetic attraction works in exactly 100 ways. There are exactly 100 natural elements on Earth. Natural elements start from hydrogen, one planet or one electron. Fermium, 100 planets or 100 electrons. The elements on the periodic table outside of these 100 elements are temporary or man-made and only last seconds. The second law of magnetic attraction is that unlike will attract unlike. The second law of magnetic attraction works in nearly endless ways. 
The second law of magnetic attraction is observed most commonly by modern scientists in the form of ionic bonds. These ionic bonds are denoted in chemistry as being formed by the attractive force between oppositely charged particles. Let's look at the second law of attraction on the universal scale and the subatomic scale for everyday table salt. On the universal scale, NaCl is formed by the attraction between a star system with 11 planets, Na, and a star system with 17 planets, Cl. On the subatomic scale, NaCl is formed by the electrostatic ionic attraction between Na plus and Cl minus. Na and Cl balance each other out when the compound NaCl is formed. Here are some commonalities between the seven states of matter. The seven states of matter all have a spectrum that ranges in intensity. All seven substances come out of the condensation of nothing or the mind of God. God is infinite in eternity, no beginning and no end, but not in creation. This allows God to create and continue to make every new universe larger than the first to infinity. The vibration of conscious. The highest of these vibrations is magnetism. The lowest is solid. Part of this conscious is inside of us vibrating as perception, and the other part is outside of us vibrating as matter. God condenses a part of his mind, which is in an expanded state, and forms the first substance, magnetism. Magnetism condenses further and forms the second substance, called electricity. Electricity condenses into light, the third substance of the universe, which condenses into the fourth substance, called space or ether. The last three substances, gases, liquids, and solids, condense in three stages out of ether. We say all is vibration because everything is transformation of the same stuff at different vibratory levels. We see in the process of photosynthesis that matter starts off from light energy and is condensed into solid chemical energy through a plant or organism. Just to be clear, this has nothing to do with a mystery god but actual elders are creating new star systems every 7,000 years. They create over a period of time of 6,000 years and rest for 1,000 years. The fundamental particle of matter that modern scientists seek can never be found, as the universe has no beginning or end. It just continues to expand over time. For more on this, see our videos on astronomy and physics and ancient African cosmology.